sure my leg is banjaxed. This can't be a sensible option. Okay. She give me the evil eye. I guess she's gonna follow me then. Oh, oh, come back here! You can't leave me behind. The owners aren't looking. No, okay. I'm the cripple. Come back. Guess I'm going this way. Okay. Maybe opening the gate just yet yeah, isn't the best of idea. Give me that rake. Seriously, can I not pick up any weapons? Oh, man. Not so bad. We found some people. I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot this night. I'll give him a hand if I can. Maybe they can help me in return. That'd be handy. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep Here. in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Uh. I don't. Yeah. I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? I can't that's really. A good idea. Tell her her parents are dead now, can I? That's not exactly nice. Don't hey, shoot! Man. Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Holy smokes. Uh, I need help with my leg. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Hello. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. <laughs> we shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. Sounds like a good, good idea. Um. Uh. I'm just, just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Huh. The monster's coming. We gotta go. Oh crap. Push the car, push the car. Let's go. Push the car. Uh push. Push. Hey. We're getting close, we're getting close. There's a good girl helping out. One more. Oh god. We're just some guy? It seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Alright. Not too bad. Phew. In your charge. Pretty nice. Oh well. Darn tootin'. Cornfields. Why do I get the feeling zombies will come out of nowhere and attack me like mad in those? Hey, Sean. I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. This ain't gonna end well. Mark my words. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, uh. I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Howdy ho. Uh. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? 
Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? No. Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah? Yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, Sean mail, and I'll in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Stitches galore. I'll need lots of them. State of that gash. You probably shouldn't look. Let's have a look. Yeah. This is swollen to hell. Fucking hell. Uh, could be could worse. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. The name's Lee. Bruce Lee. How'd this happen? Uh. Uh. Jumping the fence. Running from something? Just like everybody else. What type of danger has the girl seen? Not exactly. Uh, Who knows? Not she sure. had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there, and we're done here. I didn't Thank get you your can't name, be. darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've Ash been through, Clementine. Um. Looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. <laughs> nah, it kinda I does. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think <laughs> anyone knows how big it is yet. Oh, please. Uh, Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff fortify. like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Shit hit the fan, old man. That rhymes. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. I didn't even really. get to see what other options there were besides okay. X. Well, well two I'm all time done sometimes. here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. Not so bad. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What That's do we do then? Good. Well, Amputate. probably just have to <laughs> shoot you. Uh, well, there we go. Redress it and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be <laughs> preferable. There's blankets <laughs> and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. Fuck if I know. Wherever I, wherever All the right. story takes me, to the barn, sleeping times. It smells like <laughs> a farm. Manure. 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 Like when a horse plops. Just like <laughs> that. <laughs> I could have said shit. But... I miss my mom and dad. She's only eight. I oh. bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Oh, God. Pretty far. Oh. Okay. Oh, I feel bad. For... Hmm. I love you, baby. <laughs> oh, you must be dreaming about the wife. <laughs> Nightmares? <sighs> Fucking hell. Wearing a headset and playing any game makes it like ten times better instantly. Hey, get up. Get the darn tootin' up, son. What an itchy. We got work to do. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence! Kenny? There's a tractor and everything! Oh, God. 
We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. I don't think that kid's smart. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! Huh. See? I get it. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My Was. family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Hmm. Uh. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. <laughs> Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? It's Clementine. 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 That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and what I is this kid, to... a city kid or something? I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Yeah, you mind her while I fucking build a fence or whatever the hell that is I'm doing. I still don't feel safe though without a wet. That's so uh It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Alright, if you say so. Kenny. Hey there, uh Kenny. What did that say? Uh So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, like whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. I like his plan. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Uh... I, I okay. think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. He's got a point. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. <laughs> Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. If you say so. Okay. Where to now? Seems like those two are getting along. Um, let's uh, yeah, let's go have a chat with these two, I suppose. Oh, hey, you having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. That's good. Let's talk to this one. Hey there, girls. Um, you two actually look relaxed. <laughs> I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Yeah. She's a first grader. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Yeah. Sometimes you just can't help you. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? I'm a gamer. I just <laughs> I want to kill zombies. Things were bad before. Bad now, but the different. You see, people are eating each other. Maybe what they I... weren't before. The banks, the politics, the the crap. Those things are gone. Hell comes in a lot of different colors. 
Ah, uh, God, I don't like this timed thing. I keep hitting the... I don't hit the wrong thing, but I hit something so, in a panic. Uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back hmm. to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. So it I mean, can't stay like this. Professor, apparently. Uh, shit. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. God, I didn't know Not what to select bit. there. Okay, Lee. Gotta keep paying attention. Okay. Guess that's all good. Start walking. I better go over there. Um, Irvin's. <laughs> Why are you having so much trouble walking, strange person? Okay. What's going on with the tractor? You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a <laughs> hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Sean. Sean's still working on that fence. So his name is Sean. Quack, quack. <coughs> Why do I get the feeling this won't end well? So how do I help out? Look at that fence. Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Okay. Look at the it's wood. just whatever scraps I could find around the property. Fair enough. Do you have a dog? I love dogs. So Sean Tractor. What else do we have here? I guess I'll have a look see in the barn. Whatever's in here. What the hell am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> I feel like is there a way to check? Uh no. I'll just walk away and see what happens. Did I just do a lap of the map? It's actually a piece of shit, but Hall's alright. <laughs> All right then. Can I go inside? I wonder. What the fudge am I supposed to be doing? Can I run yet? Oh, I can talk to him. Okay. How you doing, Doc? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. Yeah, I'm if you say so. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> God. Alright, hey, let's have a chat, you. Need a hand? That'd Damn be right. great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. <clears throat> Alright then. Right down the middle. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. No, he does not. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Jesus. Damn. Oh shit, Dan. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. No, it does not. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Sometimes? Let's kill. Let's be killed. I guess. I don't yeah. think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about Maybe yours? Like... How's your family? Um... My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. Hope it ain't. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. All right, man. Sure thing. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Okay. On my way, Papa Farmer guy. Duck. How you Quack. doing, Duck? Good. I drive the tractor. All right. Foreman, lift with your back, Sean. 
That kid doesn't shut up, does he? Okay, to the barn. Oh, hey, Papa Farmer guy. Marshall. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. Oh, he knows. How'd you get out of Atlanta? <sighs> I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <laughs> Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all yeah. that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Macon. Uh, parents my parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Uh... Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Uh... Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. He's but at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Oh shit! Go! I'll get my gun! Oh fuck! Get away, girl! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh, oh! Cut! Wait, I chose to save him? Oh wait, can I not save them both? Oh, okay, the kids got away. Kenny, help me. Oh, what a Kenny. dick. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. God damn it. Sake. I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you. Don't worry. We'll stitch you up. <laughs> it almost... It almost got me, man. It... <laughs> they tried to save me. <laughs> it did get you. You're dead. I know so. You're gonna turn into one of them. Oh, shit, he's dead. I didn't mean he's dead like that. Fuck, sorry. <laughs> Ah, oh, balls. God damn it. He's not happy. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! Oh, crap. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. Uh... You can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't! You watch your back. Wait until it's your daughter and you need his help. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back! God damn it. I guess we should get going then. 
You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Hmm. Guess we better get going. Fuck, I feel bad now.